Hey guys, it's Corey from CoreyBakerFilmmaker.com, and I just saw Parasite, written by Bong Joo Ho and Jin Wan Han, and directed by Zhang Bong Joo Ho. So I caught this flick at the AMC Burbank 16, um, and I know what some of you might be thinking. This is the 10th time that I've seen a movie at the AMC Burbank 16, so usually there's a featurette that I would be playing right now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when I started doing the research for my feature ad, I realized that there was a lot to talk about here. So it's going to be delayed. It'll be the 11th time that I see a movie at the AMC Burbank 16 that I'll have this feature ad. Uh, sorry, I wasn't imagining that uh, it would be as interesting as it was. But I saw it at the AMC C Burbank 16. Uh, wonderful experience as always. Definitely go check it out. On to the plot. Uh, we, we follow a, a family who's on... Uh, very hard times like every single member of the family is sort of like a disappointing mess and they live in this basement uh, home inside of like like a slum basically and uh, a opportunity arises where the son of the family can work as an English tutor for this wealthy family a friend of his passes on this opportunity to him and over the course of the movie, the entire family finds a way to infiltrate into the wealthy family, and we go on from there. I like this movie a lot. I think that uh, there's something to be said about watching a movie from another country where sometimes the, the base parts like so uh you know it'd be like if i it'd be much the same as if i told you like put on indian spot like top 100 in india right now uh the music would sound different because there's different things that have traditionally been seen as uh enjoyable for an indian language or an indian market uh and the same could be said about korean cinema the same could be said about like a lot of foreign <laughs> a lot of the foreign cinemas out there but it's very it, what i enjoy about this movie is it is it is it feels very uh there there's a layer of reality that goes along with it that bridges the divide between the person who's in the movie, like, watching it. Like, sometimes you watch a movie and it feels very much like you're watching a movie because, you know, there's a lot of cuts that make it seem like, you know, like, oh, why would there be a camp? Why would we be witnessing this moment from this particular vantage point? That sort of thing. And it sort of takes you out of the reality of the the, the way that it's shot. This is very... This, this makes you feel like you're somebody in the home with all these people. It it, it just... it, it They... they Bung Joo Ho does such a wonderful job of really putting you in there, and it's great. And I think that, from the best I can tell, the acting is great. I mean, the, the actual physical performance of the acting is, is fantastic. Um, you know, sometimes there can be sort of a dead read, and that will instantly make an actor less appealing, but when you don't know the language that they're speaking, the dead read isn't obvious to you so to me everyone did a fantastic splendid job in this movie um it would really be for somebody who speaks korean to uh, properly say whether or not uh these performances lived up to the expectations that they had going in another thing that i really liked and this could be a great lesson for the indie filmmaker out there because this movie it looks fantastic and there are very few actual locations in the scene 90% of the time that we spend seems to be in the home of the rich family the parks uh when we when the whole family sort of like finds their way in like the dad the driver and the mom's the maid and the sister is the uh art teacher and stuff like that they all find their way into uh, the park's life. And it's a very interesting sort of... like it, What's great is that you can have 
a movie that talks about issues like income inequality and stuff like that, but it's put under the lens of another uh, perspective, and it's it's just very well done. You it 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 plays far beyond uh, just like a Korean audience. It's it's it, and it shows because it's it's playing on screens all over the country it's it's doing very well for itself and it it's it's just so the filmmaking is so effortless if i can if i can uh give bung ju ho a, a compliment on his his film it's it's ve- it feels very much like uh you're just somebody who's hanging around when this is happening even though the frame is very cinematic and everything looks beautiful and sounds beautiful and oftentimes you're like outside of the house looking in and it's super wide you still feel like in some way you're connected with what's going on in the house itself and that's that's just a really uh fabulous work by him part of the thing that's like a problem with this type of movie is that you don't want to go into spoilers. Like, I don't want to go too deep into, like, how the plot unfolds because I want you to be able to go see the movie and enjoy it for yourself and not have me ruin anything for you. But at the same time, this isn't sort of like an Avengers thing where it's like, oh, everyone has to have seen this before we can really talk about it. But this movie is, you know, definitely worth a conversation. Like, I, I think you would... Uh, much like the parable I had made about like going to see the lighthouse and bringing along a smart friend. Another smart friend for Parasite might be a great idea because it, it, it seems like a movie that there's a lot that you could discuss after the fact. Um, but here in this review, I don't want to spoil anything and enj- uh, ruin the fun, but I will say that um, I think the one thing to me that was kind of a little maddening about the movie is the fluctuating logic of the characters and uh it has to be that way in a way because it has to play within the time frame of the movie like you know it's got to it's got to play in the 2 hours that the movie runs like so we have to have you know there has to be a fall at some point but i mean it it just to me it felt like characters went from like absurd safety to reckless abandon in a lot of short periods of time. And really that's the only thing that like kind of like, you know, made me unwind a little bit from the movie. So it it's, I definitely, uh, you know, uh, there's sort of a difference between like the rating that I do at the end of the episode and something that you would see on like Rotten Tomatoes. So Rotten Tomatoes is literally, would you recommend someone see this movie? So it's got like a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes because I think everyone recognizes that it's like, you know, worth seeing. Like it's interesting. It's a, you won't feel like you wasted money if you went to go see it in theaters. It's it's a very good movie it, i mean you know obviously if you don't like want to read subtitles all all movie like if that seems like a chore for you then you might not go into it with the proper open-mindedness that it would take to enjoy the movie but if you can get past that i feel like there's no person that wouldn't be interested in seeing this movie and i <sighs> It's tough when you get into, like, the, you know, like, uh, how does this movie rate compared to other things as opposed to, like, just a straight binary up or down. And that one, I think, is more up to, more up for discussion. I think that would be an interesting point. Like, how, how much do you like this movie? That's, that's the, I think that'll be the separator. Welcome to my fabulous home. We have amenities here that other places don't have. Like a leaderboard! Uh, this is the 10th time I've seen a movie at AMC Burbank 16. Again, apologies. I will have that uh, feature it for you soon. Uh, I hope to be uh, taking from the level of the, the regal and moving upward from there. Um, on to the movie leaderboard. 
again, this this movie is really. I don't see it like a movie that I would talk about all the time. Like, I don't think it would be like a, you know, like, oh, you remember when we saw Reservoir Dog? Like, it's not going to be like that. Um, <clears throat> and it's the type of flick that I don't know if I would need to have it to, like, see all the time. Like, I, I feel like at some point this thing is just going to show up on a streaming service and I'll be able to enjoy it at my leisure whenever. But it's not like I would, like, you know, again, going off to the the ideal of, like, buying a DVD. I don't think I would buy a DVD for this movie. Um, but very good. Very fascinating. I can't think of somebody who wouldn't enjoy it unless the subtitles is just a deal breaker. Um, yeah, I mean, great work from the cast and the crew and Bong Joon-ho in particular. It's uh, definitely worth the scene. But if I had to give it a rating... I would give Parasite an 8.1. Uh, really enjoyed it. Really th thought that uh, it was something special. I think that uh, there's an appreciation from it from a Korean-speaking audience that would be uh, far outweighed by my own. And I would implore you that if you listen to me talk about this movie you should also try and find some time to find a uh, reviewer a Korean reviewer who might be able to fill in some of the blanks because I, I mean like obviously all movie is about uh, how we view it and the perspective and how we choose to show things and some people are just better suited for that than others and especially stories that are about certain people it allows us to open up our, our our views to other people in the world and i think i'm i'm definitely going to go check out uh some thoughts from koreans about this movie I, I'd, I'd be interested if other people will do the same anywho that's it from me if you want more you can go to my website coreybakerfilmmaker.com all the just uh newly updated i got all my new credits up there and everything like that so go check it out uh, Facebook.com forward slash Corey Baker film at LegendCB5 on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, don't know exactly what the next movie I'm going to go see is, but I will go see something this week. Hopefully have another review up on Thursday. Maybe I will have the AMC Burbank 16 feature out available then. Um, again, it's it, it just... Sometimes you get into these weird rabbit holes when you're, like, doing reviews on, like, weird things like movie theaters. Not that, like, movie theaters are weird, but it's just sort of, like, a weird thing to, like, research. And uh, you find interesting things. So, uh, until next time, uh, like, subscribe, share, tell people. And, yeah, that'll do it for me. Now, if you don't mind, I have to lay seeds for my second life.